I guess, I guess you can be a bad guy. Huh? You came out and did play the villain role, like you said. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed Mexico. All the Mexican people have been great to me, but unfortunately, I had to, uh, I had to put away the country, man. Pretty spectacular performance. Give, give me your, give me your thoughts on just how you performed out there this evening. Uh, it went exactly as uh, I had planned. You know, um, <clears throat> I wanted to take my time a little bit more, uh, especially with the elevation. I mean, we're really prepared for the elevation, but I did. I wanted to take my time. Um, I knew I'd be a little more technical than Polo. Uh, he comes on strong in the beginning too, so I wanted to slow it down a little bit. Um, but I wasn't really expecting the knockout to come until maybe the second round. Can you talk about the stoppage? I mean, obviously it looked to me like he was out on his feet, but I mean, he didn't fall. So I mean, what, what did you think? about the stoppage? Uh, yes, I mean, I, I didn't really have time to think about it as it happened, but uh, you know, I hit him with a super hard elbow there right on the eye, uh, followed up with some big shots, um, and then I didn't see it, then the ref pulled me off and, and that was it. But um, you know, after, after um, you know, he got up off the stool, he was still pretty wobbled off the stool. So uh, I think it was probably the, probably a good idea to stop it when they did. Obviously any win like that would feel good, I guess, but picking up the UFC win, I mean, what's, what's the emotion like right now? Uh, you know, it still hasn't settled in yet. You know, as soon as I got out of the ring, you know, I've been in front of cameras. So, uh, but as soon as I get back into uh, back in the change room and call my family and stuff, I'm sure it'll all set in. Last thing for me, I know you want to enjoy and soak it in, but where do you want to go from here now? You don't have that pressure anymore, right? So, so what's next for you? You got a date, an opponent, something in mind next? Uh, you know, I mean, I'm still super healthy. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to fight again before the end of the year. Uh, I think I got a seven-day suspension, so let's look at something in two weeks maybe. And uh, you, you were in a two-fight skid entering uh, this bout. Uh, how much pressure was, was on you? Um, you know, I take every fight uh, the same. I mean, obviously, uh, with the UFC, generally you lose a couple times in a row and, and they let you go. Um, so I really wanted to come in here and show the UFC, you know, why they brought me on, why they signed me. Um, you know, and I think I was able to do that. When, you know, fighting back-to-back -back losses and when you got the call to fight in Mexico, also someone from here in Mexico, uh, what was going on through your head? Because, you know, that's a pretty tough scenario just fighting in Mexico so well. Uh, I mean, I was super excited. I, you know, I've never been to Mexico, but obviously Mexico is, you know, a very warrior culture, you know, great boxing, great MMA and stuff. So where else would I like to fight? And you like the fans? Do you see Mexican fans? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fans have been have been super awesome. I mean, uh, you know, obviously they're cheering a little more for Polo, but as soon as I got out of the ring, uh, you know, everybody wanted pictures to shake my hand and stuff. It was amazing.